Hey guys, so we're here back in KSP. I have a little bit of a cold, so I might sound different at times, but you'll notice, or you won't, or you won't notice. Um, uh, some of you might have seen the uh, hollow VTOL, uh, where you can actually walk into the plane, take a seat, and fly it. This is the same idea, only uh, the next evolution. This is the hollow SSTO VTOL called the hollow dropship and why? well, Bob is going to show you come on Bob Bob, can you walk straight please? Bob had a little bit much to drink never a good idea so you have to make a little jump to get on the uh, door cargo bay door uh, whatever you want to call it you know the door and you just walk in you can't walk in through the middle there's the uh, LV1 rocket engine here we have our six brave Kerbal nuts the or else I like to call them right now the uh, Kerbal Space Marines with a parachute through the head, but well, yeah, I try to make the mod the, the pods as small as possible. And uh, yeah, this is the cockpit. I might add some things uh, to the cockpit. Uh, board. There we go. Now, as you can see, I didn't show this in the previous video. Uh, the door closed on itself. It's not really closed actually. It just clipped through the landing struts. If I press a zero and zero again, it will open up again, like so. And when I press zero again, it will close. There's no locking mechanism on this door. It's so small that it doesn't move. So there's no need for it. Now we're gonna look at the inside. If I press nine it closes the door between the pilot and the space kerbals the kerbal marines <laughs> yeah well uh, let's see um, one toggles the uh, turbojet engines uh, two and three toggles the uh, rocket max engines in groups of four so you can use less when you're in orbit four toggles the uh, basic engines or the VTOL engines like so turn off the brakes uh, I advise you to use the SES with this plane it's not properly balanced so for the simple fact that when you start dropping pots the balance changes probably I should have made them uh, more around the engine but this is also uh, meant to be an uh, aesthetic plane, you know, needs to look cool. And, uh, well, it's a future plane, so why not have it computer steered, you know? Digital, no wire steering, simply electronic. And there we go, VTOLing around. So, um, if you want to uh, drop a pot, uh, I would advise you to use, um, uh, you have uh, six buttons for those, six, seven and eight. Start with six, and this is the most uh, drop pot in the back, and then seven, then eight. If you don't, they'll probably collide with each other. That's why there are four drop pots. You collided with the plane and got stuck, and you have a plane with a parachute hanging on it. Very annoying. Uh, you have to go around uh, 20, to 20 or 25 meters per second max to drop something. If you go any faster than that, it will get launched into the plane. So it's not a fast uh, flyby and then drop somebody. It's more like a hoverby and then drop somebody. Well, let's drop the first part. Boop. 
And like I said, it yeah, apparently I was going too fast or something. Let's see if I can lose him. There we go. That's one kerbal, two kerbals down. Oh, what did I press? Wrong button. Well, like I said, you have to look out for the speed. Maybe. Huh? What the? I must be. I forgot to toggle a shoot. There you go. Well, uh, it's not 100% perfect, but still pretty cool. Probably works better if you're going forward and have your plane leaning forward while you drop them. Gives them more free fall, more uh, easy exit. Okay. And um, yeah, let's see how fast we can go. Uh, Well, you just uh, simply need to uh, to go from VTOL to normal mode, try throttle up, go to about 80, 90 or something like that, and disengage the uh, VTOL engines. And while you're at it, press 5 to close the air intakes, which you don't need until you reach a higher orbit. And then we go up. This is maybe a little bit a steep incline. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Like I said, I have a little bit of a cold. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it. Um, still a little bit of a work in progress. No, I'm gonna upload it now. Uh. I might add, have to add some extra fuel, but I don't want to. I like the way the plane looks now. I think it looks pretty cool. Oh, I almost forgot, it's just like the Hollow VTOL, you have the uh, uh, window you can close in the front and open up. Because of course it's useful when you go into orbit, then you close it. You don't want to have to burn your Kerbal up. Of course, they will burn. <laughs> Because the winglets don't block the fire. Yeah, anything else you need to know? Well, you uh, turn on the lights. I uh, toggled off the uh, turn off the uh, land gear lights and made special lights on the wings. But that's more for when you're V-tolling. You can use the light up the ground. You could probably add some weapons to the wings, if you want to. Make it more versatile. More able to defend itself. Uh, um, I don't know if you guys have seen this before, but... Uh, by uh, putting a cone, shock cone intake, on a tank, moving it backwards until uh, you lose the edge. We're halfway the edge of the intake, and then place a, a circular intake on it. You get a nice shock cone with van intakes, and you get well, not double the air intake, but you get more intake. Looks cool, I think. Yeah, what can I talk about more? Uh, I don't know. There's not really much to say. Oh, I almost forgot that. Uh, did I do that? Before you start flying guys, you need to go into the back. Control from here. On the... Uh, in the tail wing. There is a... Uh, a pod, control pod. Which controls the plane. If you do not do that, the... Uh, normally the uh, drop pods will control the plane and they're angled the wrong way around so that's not a good idea whoop there I go I wasn't paying attention to my air intakes mm, let's see now 
Well guys, I'm gonna end this at this. Uh, I hope you like the plane. It's, I think it looks pretty cool. And uh, if you like the video, please like the video. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And uh, if you have any, any comments, leave them in the comments. And uh, I'll see you guys the next time. Bye.